this is the um, Menu Master MXP22. It is a high speed combination oven. It uses a combination of three different energies. It uses radiant heat, infrared on the bottom. It uses microwave energy and, it, uh, and also impinged or forced air from the top. On the bottom, we have 3,000 watts of radiant heat. We have 2,200 watts of microwave, 1,100 on each side, and forced air, 2,000 watts from the top. All of the energies work independently of each other. They work together, but they work independently. They're all adjusted anywhere from zero to 100% and 10% increments. The oven is also, you can um, adjust anywhere from 200 to 520 degrees. This oven has been at 520 degrees since uh, early this morning. If you feel around the, the sides of the oven, this is cool to the touch. It is a uh, certified ventless unit, so you don't need a hood to uh, to operate this oven. You can program up to 360 items in this oven. Right now we just have it in one screen where you can have 10 items on there. So all I will do is uh, push a button. This is the on and off switch and we have gone to icons to make it more universal. The icon that looks like a book is for programming. The hand is for manual cook. The temperature button, the icon there is for uh, changing your temperature, checking to see what your temperature is. You have the up and down arrows and left and right arrows. So if I, I can use those to navigate up and down the screen. But if I take my product and put it in and I just, it's, let's say, hit number one, it just starts automatically. I don't need to do anything else to it. So it's a very, very quick response. There's no wait time on that. And the numbers on the bottom, you, well, you, as you just saw, you have the green button and the stop button for stop and, and go. The numerical keypads on the bottom are used for, uh, again, just programming your, your settings uh, for numbers, uh, for times, and your percentages. And the letters, it would be like texting. It would, so you can program the names just the way you want them for your particular operation. We're going to be doing a sandwich here, and that'll be about 40 seconds. And we'll use 60% uh, on the microwave, 60% on a fan, and 100% on the uh, radiant heat. And that is just to, to get it so the sandwich is, uh, is hot in the middle and the outside is toasted. So your forced air coming from the top is going to help with the, the toasting, the browning on top. Your radiant heat on the bottom is gonna help with your, uh, your crispness and toasting on the bottom and also providing the uh, um, overall heat of the oven. The microwave is really what's going to make it heat up and, and cook the product. We're going to do a panini and I'm going to do this open face <clears throat> so I get markings on both sides. I just take my sandwich, I put it in the oven, I press number one, and as you can see, the uh, oven cuts down, counts down from uh, until it gets to zero. Then the oven will will beep, or you can actually change that uh, the end beep on how you uh, you would like it. It also has uh, a, a flash drive. It has a USB port that you can actually program all your settings into your, on your computer and just come up here and upload the information or vice versa, download the information into uh, the flash drive. Uh, so if you have multiple locations or you change your menu, it's a very easy way to, uh, to do that. Okay, now it, it's done. It's telling me to take my food out. That was 40 seconds. I have my, my sandwich. In a panini press, this uh, sandwich would probably take four to five minutes, and the center would still not be as hot. As you can see, that the the sandwich is actually steaming. The cheese was melted, as you saw, with nice browning on top, and it's you know it's ready to to go to your customer at this point.